For many years, passwords were considered to be an acceptable form of protecting one's privacy. However, as cryptography and biometric security started to become more widely available to the public, the flaws in this simple method of authentication became more noticeable. To help you and your business understand the risks, we've pulled together the most commonly used password cracking techniques used by hackers. Phishing is the practice of attempting to steal user information by disguising malicious content as trustworthy communications. A typical attack may involve a fake email from a brand likely to serve as the victim, advising that the user take action to address an account issue and prompting them to provide their details willingly for an online form. However, malicious payloads hidden in email attachments will also do the trick. Keyloggers, screen scrapers, and a host of other malicious tools all fall under the umbrella of malware, malicious software designed to steal personal data. Alongside ransomware, which attempts to block access to an entire system, there are also highly specialized malware families that target passwords specifically. Keyloggers and their ilk record a user's activity, whether that's through keystrokes or screenshots, which is all then shared with a hacker. Some malware will even proactively hunt for a user's system for password dictionaries or data associated with web browsers. Brute force attacks refer to a number of different methods of hacking that all involve guessing passwords in order to access a system. This could simply be a hacker guessing a person's password based on relevant clues or something far more sophisticated. Credential recycling, for example, relies on the fact that many people reuse their passwords, some of which will have been exposed by previous data breaches. A dictionary attack, a slightly more sophisticated version of a brute force attack, uses an automated process of feeding a list of commonly used passwords and phrases into a computer system until something fits. Most dictionaries will be made up of credentials gained from previous hacks, although they will also contain the most common passwords and word combinations. Network analyzers are tools that allow hackers to monitor and intercept data packets sent over a network and lift the plain text passwords contained within. To pull this off, Hackers need to use malware or gain physical access to a network switch, but it can prove highly effective if done right. It doesn't rely on exploiting a system vulnerability or network bug, and as such can be used against most internal networks. It's also common to use network analyzers as part of the first phase of an attack, followed up with brute force attacks. Spidering is the process of hackers getting to know their targets intimately in order to acquire credentials. How a hacker might use spidering will depend on the target. If going after a large company, hackers may attempt to source internal documentation, such as company handbooks, to get a sense of the platforms and security the target uses. It's in these that you often find guys on accessing things like the company intranet or Wi-Fi network. It's often the case that companies will use passwords that relate to their business activity or branding in some way. Hackers are able to exploit this by studying the products that a business creates to build a hit list of possible word combinations, which can be used to support a brute force attack. For more on cybersecurity and many other business IT topics, visit us online and don't forget to subscribe to the IT Pro channel.